pipe networks have been part of Civil 3D now for several versions and it just keeps getting better and better and what I'd like to do is show you some of the new features uh, in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 with regard to pipe networks so let's go ahead and get into it firstly um, if we go to Park Builder you will notice that there are uh, more uh, parts available to you um, for modeling of your pipe networks. You'll notice corrugated HDPE pipe, HDPE pipe, which weren't there before, uh, egg-shaped pipes, elliptical pipes. These are all uh, uh, now uh, 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 available for you for uh, your modeling of your networks. Same with structures. Uh, there's some new structures available. Concrete flared end section. Um, some others as well okay so just first realize that there's some new parts available to you if um, uh, you were looking to use these parts in previous releases and they weren't there they are now so next I'd like to talk about the three hydrology and hydraulic extensions available for use with uh, uh, Civil 3D 2010 if you notice under my analyze tab there are the three extensions there they've been they, they They've been available for use with Civil 3D since I believe the the 2008 version, um, and uh, the, what's really improved in this release 2010 is the integration into um, Civil 3D 2010 into Civil 3D. So uh, first of all, you notice that you launch the the applications now from inside of Civil 3D. Um, the storm sewers uh, program is for analysis and design of your storm sewer networks. Hydrographs is for modeling of watersheds and uh, designing of ponds. And uh, the Express uh, extension is a really nice uh, utility for uh, uh, doing some calculations, open channel flow. For example, circular pipe, you can put in some parameters and calculate uh, the velocity, the depth of flow, uh, etc. Okay? So we have a, in this drawing, we have a storm sewer network. Um, at the top is a profile view of the network, and on the bottom is a plan view of the network. And what I would like to do is uh, analyze and design this network in um, the storm sewers extension. So I'm going to go ahead and click on one of the pipes in the network down at the bottom. And when I do that, uh, it brings up uh, the list of tools uh, available to me for um, uh, modifying, working with my pipe network. And over here you'll see storm sewers. And I can then take this pipe network and edit it in uh, the storm sewers extension. And when I do that, it will launch the storm sewers extension and it will immediately bring um, up that uh, that pipe network there. So now, I can, like I said, I can begin my uh, design. I can go to the Pipes tab. I can start entering drainage areas, runoff coefficients, uh, time of concentration. I already actually already have a uh, file. I'll just bring that open right there. And uh, once you've entered in all your design information for the, uh, for the pipe, you can then uh, do an analysis compute the system. I'll enter a uh, HGL here and OK and it goes through and uh, uh, designs the system. It'll, uh, if, if desired you can set slopes uh, based on um, um, minimum cover requirements um, you can uh, uh, it, and it'll also show your your your, hyd your um, hydraulic and uh, energy grade line. In this case you see the hydraulic grade line there in, in red. So storm sewers is a great tool for again for the design and uh, analysis of your uh, of your pipe network. So once the pipe network design is complete in the storm sewers extension, we can then import that network back into the uh, back into this drawing. So again, I'll click on the pipe. I'll go to storm sewers, and before we did an edit in storm sewers, or similar to an export. Now we're going to go ahead and import it. When I do that, it says, hey, this, this network already exists in the drawing. What do you want to do? Do you want to create a new pipe network or do you want to update the existing pipe network? 
Well, I want to update it. And when I do that, you'll notice up here in the profile view that it'll bring in uh, new invert slopes based on the design it did in the uh, Storm Series extension. So I'll click on update the existing pipe network. Okay, and you see it, uh, you see it changed there. Um, it, the pipes went up a bit, slopes changed. And you notice, very interestingly, uh, there is a uh, pink and a green line there. That is the, uh, hyd uh, the hydraulic grade line and the energy grade line. And further, we can label that hydraulic grade line. We can make the uh, elevation of hydraulic grade line. We could show it in a, a label for the, uh, for the, the, the drainage manhole. So uh, really, uh, re really good stuff there, the integration with the, the storm sewers extension. So hopefully I did an adequate job of showing you uh, some of the new features with regard to pipe networks in, um, in Civil 3D 2010. Again, the import and export to storm sewers is, work, is, is, is the integration between the two, between storm sewers and Civil 3D is, is working real, real nicely. Um, the ability to show uh, the uh, energy and hydraulic grade lines on the, um, the profile as a result of the import. The uh, new parts that I showed you and uh, the, the integration of the um, extensions in Civil 3D, the ability to launch the extensions from inside the program. Thank you.